Hi YouTube, I'm back. Um, now I am going to try something new. Have never done that before, haven't really watched a lot of videos on this before, so I'm just going to wing it. Um, I'm due to make some more coffee soap, so I thought I am going to do them in cupcake form this time. So cold process soap cupcakes. Woohoo! So I have my clay already in here and my additional um, sugar simple syrup in my lye solution. So I'm going to give this a little whiz. Some of that soap. Now I'm going to add my lye solution, which is almost room temperature. just want this in an emulsion state, not yet a trace. So there we go. Now I'm going to pour some of this off, maybe about half, I guess. Okay. And now for this part. I have some reconstituted goat's milk, goat's milk powder, which I'm going to add in. And I'm going to put in some titanium dioxide because I want this to be a little on the wider side since this is going to be the milk. And for fragrance oil, I am going to use. Vanilla, which is going to this color, but Just stir it up for now. Okay. Put the 
this on the mantle. Now, this part here is going to get some freshly brewed but not really warm coffee. About the same amount as the goat's milk in the other one. And then about a tablespoon of coffee grounds, which are used because then they become less scrubby. Get that in. And for colorant. I have some coffee mocha, um, mocha coffee, I think it's called, mica dissolved in oil. Okay. So give that a quick stir. And then for fragrance, of course, I'm going to add coffee fragrance. This one also has vanilla, but, well, and I want a good strong coffee smell in this part. Okay. So let's give this a stir. And then back to my other one, which I am now going to stick blend to trace. at a nice trace. Now let's just clean up a bit. And here I have my cupcake tray lined with silicone muffin liners. And to try to not mess up too much.
Okay. Now let's add some vanilla. Okay, let's add the rest in here. Now I have to wait for these to start to set. Hi guys! This is me on... and... today, which is a Tuesday, for anyone who'd like to know, I am first and foremost going to put these in storage. These were supposed to be the toppings for my cupcakes, but um, I don't know, something went a little bit wrong with the recipe and my soap cupcakes didn't set up, so I couldn't use the frosting on there and that's why I made these little I don't know maybe I should call them meringues <laughs> so I am putting them into my tray so I can get them into my curing rack Okay, so let me zoom in on that. If I take um you can see that it's basically separated oil on top. And I'm going to try to save this by removing the oil and um, getting some new frosting on top. So I'll see you when I've prepared my cupcakes and my um, frosting. Hi guys! This is my second try at making soapy cupcakes. My first try ran rather wrong, should I say, so I'm going to do this again. And here I have my hard oils all melted down and now I am going to add some 
Kaylin Clay, about a tablespoon. And I am going to add some goat's milk powder. I usually keep it like this as a powder because my the amounts of soap I make aren't really large enough to warrant me going out and buying real goat's milk because um, I only ever need a couple of tablespoons worth so this in my opinion is a better solution so I'm going to stir this until it's sort of dissolved and cool down a bit Okay, it's been about half an hour and I am now ready to add my lye water. But first I am going to take my simple syrup and add a little of sugar in there. have it here. Well, it doesn't matter. I just want to mix this to a light trace and then I'm going to separate out a couple of parts. <laughs> For the cakey part, I have some coffee grinds that I'm adding. I've just um, put them in some water so they're not as firm and stir, stir, stir. For some fragrance, I have coffee, which has a pretty high vanilla content, so I don't really have to color the soap at all. It's going to discolor to a dark tan anyways.
So let's give this a stir. And then stick blend to a medium trace. Okay, this is nice. So, I just, yes. Here I have my muffin pan, which is made of silicon. So, I don't want to make a lot. That's why I only have four of them filled. And since I'm going to pile on a nice amount of frosting, I don't really need this to be okay. So let's clean this up. Okay. Um. Let's put this aside for the moment and make our frosting. Which is pretty much the same soap. Oh, it's getting thick already. Nice. Just gonna have to stir it some more. Okay, so. The idea behind this is to make a dual tone. Frosting. So in here I'm going to put a tiny bit of this is titanium di dioxide diluted in water and here a bit more. So Ugh, let me just clean that up. It's a mess. Okay. And then for fragrance oil, I'm going to use vanilla. It's 
and I'm going to use more in here and just a bit in here so that the part that's supposed to stay um, I just completely the part that's supposed to stay lighter is going to actually stay lighter and this part is going to get a bit darker Okay, let's give this a quick whiz with the stick blender. I didn't quite put um, clean this up because I want the lighter one to have some dark spots, you know, like with Rio Vanilla. Let's try this, shall we? And I have to get some of that frosting out in the beginning. I have to put a drop in the middle so I can pile it on around and it doesn't fall together like some Babylonian tower. Ew.
Way too much frosting, by the way. Okay, so I'm going to fill these up with frosting then. Okay, so for decoration, I am going to sprinkle on some crushed coffee grounds that I just used my mortar crush up and then coffee bean on top. There you go. Soapy coffee cupcakes. <laughs>